Hey crafty family, it's me! And today we are going to do something oh, that's a lot of fun to do. Look at all that hair. Mmm, love my hair from my head all over everything I own. Um, we are going to do something that's a lot of fun that I've done before, just not on ATCs. But my friend Spanky showed on YouTube, or on, not YouTube, Facebook. And um, she showed that she did it on ATCs. And I was like, you know what, I haven't done this on my channel at all. Um, so yeah, so really cool. So thanks Spanky for giving me that idea. She did the shaving cream and food coloring, um, thing. If you've not seen it before, then you have no idea what I'm talking about, but most people have seen it and I'm going to make some ATCs. And the reason why I'm making ATCs lately is because right now on, in my group, the Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground, we are doing an ATC challenge up until July 10th where we are making at least six ATCs and either trading them with somebody else in the group or sending them out randomly to people in the group. So if you're not in the group, let's say the group again, Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground, if you're not in the group, then please click the link below in the description and join the group because it's so much fun. And we have a great group of ladies in there. Um, so what you need to do this, if you've not done it all, you know, at all, um, it costs $2. You go to the, the store and you get cheap. It's got to be the foamy kind, not the gel kind. So you get cheap shaving cream and some cheap food color. And that's all you need. Now I'm going to use some other things later. But I wanted to, you know, this is what you originally only need. But you can use, there are other things you can use, which I will show you in a bit. So, but that's what we're going to start out with. And then you need um, some sort of stick and you need some sort of thing to scrape it. A lot of people use a ruler or like a scrapey tool like this or whatever you got to scrape it with. Because you're going to need to scrape the shaving cream off of your, um, your ATCs or whatever. You can do card, you know, like for fronts of cards and whatever you want. It's easier to keep it small though. It makes it a lot easier to do. So you're going to give a little shaky shaky to your foaming uh this stuff which i should use to shave my legs because they is atrocious but instead of shaving my legs i'm going to let them keep getting hairy and we're going to do this instead and this well, that's nice that's nice come on i'm just going to do enough for like two atcs and then what you need to do is you need to spread this out and i usually use like a oh a palette knife to kind of pat it down into a small little smells good small little area all right cooperate this part over here didn't come out right so it's not cooperating like the rest is and now i've got a gnat in my face really <laughs> anything else anything else But you want to make yourself a little pillow, a little cloud of shaving cream. As smooth as you can get it without, you know, don't, you don't have to go overboard, but that's fine. That'll do. Have a rag on handy or paper towels or whatever you want to use. And then you're also going to need some sort of garbage can or somewhere to scoop up the shaving cream when it starts to get all nasty. So, let's see, I've got four colors, and with these four colors, you can make any color in the rainbow, supposedly. <laughs> but first, we're going to use red, blue, and yellow. We're just going to keep it simplified. And what you want to do is you want to put drops of color. There's the blue. These, are, these remind me of when I was a kid. We, all, we had these with the little cones for tops. Did you have this kind of food coloring when you were a kid? Because I did. Okay, and that might be too much, but I don't care. So then you take your stick or skewer and you go around and you start mixing it about just like this. You can make any pattern you want and just, you know, and even that looks pretty. but we're not going to use that. We're just going to 
So now you take your card, and now I should be able to fit two on here, if I'm strategic about it. And you place your cards on there, like so. I'm just doing enough. To, I mean, you don't want to do too big of a thing because then it becomes a hassle. So the smaller, the better. And you just want to make sure all of your corners and all of your edges go into the shaving cream with the ink on it. I call it ink even though it's from coloring. And then you're going to pull it up and set it aside for a second. And then you're going to take your scrapey thing. You're going to catch a hold of the corner and you're going to scrape off the excess, you know, shaving cream stuff. And voila, I'll show you what they look like afterwards. So I just hold the corner and because they're ATCs, they're fairly easy to scrape because they're nice and small. And then you set them aside to dry because they're still a little wet. But isn't that cool? These are both really cool. I have the autofocus off to make sure that the camera doesn't hump because I'm actually using my webcam um, to film, which I normally do not do. I usually use a camera just because, but I was trying to do this all in one take. I didn't have to worry, want to worry about batteries running out or time limits. So I do it on my webcam, even though I'm not, I'm not, I don't care for the quality as much on my webcam when I record, but... Ooh, these smell good. Oh yeah, they smell good. Um, but I figured for today, I just wanted to do it without having to do a lot of editing or anything. But I think that looks really cool. But here's the thing. There's plenty of ink on here to do another pull. So just lay your two more cards and you'll get a very similar looking card. Once again, find the corner with the least stuff on it so you can hold on to it. And look, it matches. It matches which one? This one. It's like a mirror image. Oh, I grabbed two by accident. Oopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Very cool. Matchy, matchy, and there's still stuff left on there. Now this stuff, some people put it back on there. I'm not going to, because I don't want mud, so I just dumped it into my garbage. There's still enough on here. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go this way, and then since this one already has stuff on it, we're going to do that over here. And then we're going to do it over here, like that. I'm going to do this one here, and just keep taking as many pulls as it will allow me to get. Very cool. These are looking really cool. I mean, this is just from one bit of the shaving cream. I get all of this. And there's still enough in there for me to get more. So we're going to put that down. And then we're going to tap this one in over here. You can get a lot with one pull with the shaving cream. Pull that off and then go in over here. It's kind of like, obviously, like jelly plate. And then you can go in over here. And over here. And just keep going and keep going until you fill it up. And not waste any of your ink. Or at least for the most part. And you get this really cool kind of kaleidoscopy looking I got my stick all dirty yeah a lot you know some people save the the ink off of there what you know what they pull off I don't bother just because I mean it's just shaving cream and food coloring I'm not that worried about wasting that you know what I mean like it's not worth it to me when 
you know, a lot of times it ends up real muddy where I want to keep them all as clean as possible. So that's good. I'm not going to bother trying to get any more, but what I will do is put some more shaving cream down. And that's another thing people will reuse. And that's fine if you're doing a big pan. Like some people will get a pan and do like huge things of it. That's fine. If you want to reuse it when you're doing like big things of, um, big things of, of uh, shaving cream you're using a lot. Yeah, I can understand that. But I'm just using little bits. But look how many cards I got out of that one little bit of shaving cream. Which, why is this giving me problems? All I want is a baby wipe. Um, so yeah, you can get a lot out of one, um, out of one little area. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight cards out of one couple of squirts of shaving cream. So, and it's awesome. I'm happy with that. So I don't mind throwing away the rest of the shaving cream at all. Does not phase me. I don't like to waste, but I'm not worried about a dollar. It was actually 85 cents. <laughs> I'm not worried about 85 cents worth of shaving cream. And that's not, I mean, I must have spent one penny worth of shaving cream there. So now I will do another. I don't know why this doesn't like to squirt very well. It's not very squirty making myself my little cloud yeah I've done this in a pan I've never done it free like this I usually kept it in a pan of some sort but I've seen some other people do it like just on a mat or whatever and it seems to work pretty well like that so so here we go let's do some more red green and yellow and or we'll add some green now instead of the red since the red is a problem color or the green is a problem color for what am i talking about yeah red i didn't want to add red just yellow yellow blue and green why can't i speak goodness because green and red don't mix but red blue and yellow do so that's a fine combination perfectly fine And it's only 99 cents at the dollar store for these things. So I don't care how much of it I use because it's, I don't use it on my food ever. So it's not like I'm wasting anything. And then I got my skewer and I'm just going to do some, I love how that comes out. Like a, I want to lick it like it's a lollipop. Cool. I like the lines. Very cool, very cool. And then we can do our two cards and then add more later. The trick is to make sure you got your corners in and then make sure it's all tapped in. It looks like I haven't even put anything in it. Get out of my way. Everything's getting in my way. That looks cool, doesn't it? I'll show you closer later. I had to turn, like I said, I had to turn off the autofocus. So I can't show you real close yet. But this is fun for making ATCs, that's for sure. Because... You can make a lot of cool ATCs with just very little effort. So it's really not hard to do. And this is another fun project for the kids. So definitely something you could do this summer with the kitties. Why do you 
have to turn. Just stay still. Why you got to be difficult? Very cool. Ugh, now I've got food coloring all over me. Nice. Smooth move, x -Lex. But this is a fun thing to take outside with the kids in a pan and just let them have them go at it. You might want to put gloves on them, but it does wash right off pretty much, so you don't have to worry about it too much. We are getting some cool colors cool colors. I'm going to do some over here and then take it off and then do some over here. It almost looks like a feather in there. I'll show you later when it's dry. This one didn't get some in the middle. That's okay. Hold still. I can still get some in the middle if I want, just by going like that. There we go. Come on. Come on. Very cool. I think I'm done with this and now we're going to move on to a different type of different uh, use of color or a way to get color on there rather than using food coloring. Bear with me while I quickly clean off my tools a little bit. I don't want to get my arms all in it. All right, now these are looking really good. And what's nice about it is you can pretty much stack these up right away and it's not like they're going to stick together because they don't have paint on them so they won't stick together stick them over there and now what i'm going to grab is my liquid watercolors and i know that a lot of you guys have these or some of you guys have these so i'm going to grab a couple of colors like magenta and turquoise and maybe some orange and yellow uh, what's this blue red violet and I don't need brown I think that's it I think that's all of them and we're going to try these out I've not tried these out before but I'm pretty sure that they won't be a problem because you can even use acrylic paint to do this, but 
Acrylic paint to me doesn't work as well. I've tried acrylic paint and I didn't care for it as much. I definitely like the liquidy, more um, translucent y colors, more than opaque colors for this. And water, liquid watercolors are very um, translucent, and food coloring is very translucent. That type of thing to me works better. So I seem to like that better. Okay, let's try some turquoise, which doesn't look all that turquoise, it looks more blue. Let's try magenta. And get it all over the place. Try a little red. And blue. Or no, and violet. We've already done red and blue a 9,000 times over there. So let's stick with these colors and let's just make a big old mess. Up the magenta that was on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to work out nice, man. And these are the Sargent uh, liquid watercolors that you can get on Amazon. I'll put a link below. They're actually really cheap, they're very inexpensive, and you get a whole set of, I think, 10. And, I mean, I've made sprays with these. I use them, obviously, as watercolors. Obviously, for this. You can do so much with them, and I just love them. So, definitely pick yourself up some. They are worth the money, because you get a big bottle of them. Um, four ounces. And you get ten colors. These are just some of them. I left the brown and the green and the black up there. But, yeah, you get some really awesome... Um, colors, and, oh man, that's so cool. Yeah, these are badass. These are definitely worth this. They are definitely worth the money. I can promise you that. Because I use them for all different things. Making sprays with them is amazing. And just using them as watercolors is amazing so vibrant and pretty that is awesome even better than food coloring heck yeah dude i'll do one this way i mean can i fit one that way nope i'll do it this way yeah these are badass so i'll put a link in the description where you can get them from and for the 20 bucks or whatever that they are it was either 20 or 23 regardless they're very worth it inexpensive but amazing very cool very cool got some cool colors going on here some of my favorite colors going on here and if you don't want the white to show you just put some back on it and go over it again or find a spot that you want some color and voila you get some color if you, like, if you end up picking up too much of the because I mean I can go through and pat this down a little bit and do that and get some color that's another thing you can do 
it mutes the color a little bit when you do that because you're mixing more of the shaving cream over it but it still comes out looking pretty cool watch it just comes out lighter usually who knows these watercolors are vibrant so So who knows? Well, pretty vibrant still. But you don't get as like patterns. You get more of like a wash of mishmash of color, which still looks cool. Still looks cool in my book. This one looks good. Oops. Putting more shaving cream back on than I'm getting off. That one looks cool. So, yeah, you can do that. And then if you wanted to reuse this, you can just go through and scrape off the majority of the messy color and then just spray on a little more shaving cream if you're really concerned about using up. If you don't have a lot of shaving cream, maybe. Um, you could do that and then just add a little more shaving cream. And since you're doing the same, you know, if you're doing the same colors, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I didn't even need to add that much. I'm trying to clean off the edge of my garbage can, which looks like a hot mess right now. <laughs> Well, it's in the bag, but still. Yeah, your fingers will get inky and whatnot, but it should wash off pretty easily. If it doesn't take a little, um, what's it called? Um, that stuff, the hand sanitizer, that'll help it bring it off as well. Because hand sanitizer has mostly alcohol in it, so that helps clean it off your hands pretty well so we've got more that we can stack up over here now let's just do some turquoise pink and purple oh big splashes big splashes I just use the purple no that was the magenta oh here it is right in front of my face right in front of my face let's see and you can leave it just like this if you want to I mean you don't have to and actually you can do like a larger pattern run through it with a larger stick and kind of do that and then go back over it like that and do different patterns, different kind of looks. I kind of will wash away a little bit more of my pink, but that's okay. Where's my stick? And then you can go through and do whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just try different things. It's going to be a lot of purple. Where's my papers? Oh, do I only have a couple left? No. I may have to stop and cut some more papers. No, I'll probably not do that on camera. Just because I'm not editing, so I don't want to have to deal with that. So we'll just use what we got. Very cool. Very vibrant. Very cool. 
And then we'll do one over here. And we'll do one over here. Very badass. Yeah, I definitely like these watercolors the best. It's probably the best that I've ever, anytime I've done this, the, those watercolors are the best for sure. I've got one more card. Let's make it good and put it here. And then, so we can use up what's on here, we're going to put it on a piece of this. <laughs> and then do some on the other side. Because you can't absolutely do that, you know. Um, I gotta do that, I gotta scrape it off on my lap. So I've got a piece of, um, a, what do you call it? my wood uh, placemat thing that I like to use. But I'll show it to you in a second. I need to, I ripped it a little bit. I dug my edge of my thing in there. Oops. I'm like a barbarian. I swear. Look how cool that is. So yes, you could do book pages. Let's do another book page since I've got plenty left on there, I'm sure. I'm sure there's enough. I'll pull this side off. And I'll re-dip it. We'll do a double dip. I'll dip it in right there. And then I'll dip it in over here. And then, whoa, <laughs> and then I'll almost drop it, and I'll dip it in over there. This one's cool looking. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. We got some cool color out of these. And you could definitely, um, I'll turn the autofocus back on so that I can show you the colors that I made and hold them up a little closer and do a little, hopefully you'll be able to see. They might not focus perfectly, but because this camera doesn't like to focus very much. It does better than my old one did, but anyway. And get some cool patterns to make some ATCs with. Or, like I said, you can use this for anything else. You don't have to use it for ATCs. I should hold it this way. Might make a little bit more sense. I like that one. And then here's our green, blue, and yellow. Here's our red, yellow, and blue. There's another green, yellow, and blue. And a red, yellow, and blue. They're very cool looking. That one's great. And then we're back to our cool vibrant ones and then we got some more vibrant ones here. These were like second generation prints. So they're not quite as vibrant as the other ones, but they're still pretty dang vibrant. 
So I advise you to totally do this. Um, yeah, because you could do all different color schemes and all kinds of stuff. And then, you know, I didn't even use half of this up. So I've got plenty to do more with. So I'm not really worried if I throw some shaving cream away. I use about that much when I shave my legs anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll give it a try and share your photos of your ATC backgrounds using the shaving cream method in the group. Um, Pink Poodle Pack Create a Playground on Facebook. Link will be in the description below. The link to get these Sergeant watercolors will be in the description below. Um, I might even put a link for some of this below and food coloring below just in case you wanted to try it all and you don't you know get to the store very often I could put a link to everything below so that you can check it out if you're interested um, also uh, thank you to Spanky for sparking the idea for me to do a video about it because I've been wanting to do a video about the shaving cream thing but I had put it off and put it off for so long and now I finally did it but I wanted you to see how easy it is it's not a whole lot of mess I mean it really isn't I mean this will wash off like I said I'll use a little, um, like if I took my alcohol right now and, st and, and started cleaning off my hands, you know, soap and water and a little of the alcohol works really well. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will give it a thumbs up, please. I really would appreciate it. And also share it on your social media. I'd appreciate that as well. Helps me out a lot. Tweet it out. Um, share it on Facebook, share it in Facebook groups that you're in and you know, wherever else you can, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, that also I would appreciate and hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button because that will make ensure that you get the notifications in your email as soon as I have a new video because my videos seem to be a bit sporadic here and there everywhere. Um, I also do live streams twice a week on Monday night at 9.30 for mixed media mashup which we had to postpone this week and hopefully are doing that tonight because I had a toothache my toothache is feeling a bit better so I'm hoping tonight everything will go good which this video may not go up before then but I'm hoping it will and then on Friday we do the pajama party which is a ton of fun we have a good time hanging out together and doing random different crafty things together and laughing and having a good time so I hope you guys can come out for that so I'll talk to you guys later. Do what you love, love what you do, be nice to people, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Pew.